Invest 91P has rapidly developed today and is now a tropical storm and has just been named by the Bureau of Meteorology as Kimi. As of 3 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, it was located 15.0 degrees south, 146.4 degrees west, moving south and closing in along the coast. It is forecast to make landfall in around 24 hours from now. Right now, the JTWC and our assessment of the storm are giving it winds of 50 miles per hour, that's 80 kilometers per hour, one minute sustained, and a pressure of 993 millibars. The storm is moving south right now at around 3 miles per hour, and it's a stage 2 on the CDPS scale. Looking more in depth at the CDPS scale right now, uh, for January 18th, at just north of Cape Tribulation, we're looking at a stage 2, which is a moderate landfall, not much considering that the storm is probably going to be a strong tropical storm or could even get up towards category 1 on the Stafford Simpson scale prior to landfall. So this is where the storm is located right now just off the coast of northern Australia. It, it's been a tropical storm by our analysis for around half a day now, but it, the GGWC and the Bureau have just caught onto the storm and realize that it is now a tropical cyclone closing on along the coast. Cyclone warnings have gone into effect for the coastline. Let's have a look at what they are right now. Tropical storm warning has been issued from Cape Melville to Cardwell, extending inland to Palmerville and Chilago. Right now, the storm is located 84 miles away from Cooktown, 120 from Port Douglas, 130 from Palm Cove, 135 from Smithfield, and 140 from Cairns. All of those along the east coast of the Cape York Peninsula of Australia. So this is what we're looking at right now for its intensity. Uh, the Bureau of Meteorology in 10 minutes of same winds are giving this 40 miles per hour. That translates to roughly around 45 miles per hour one minute of same winds. However, the GWC and ASCAP prove that this storm is around 50 miles per hour. Though given that the storm is quite small, with tropical storm force winds only sitting about 15-20 miles away from the center, about, it could be slightly stronger and could be 60, maybe even pushing 65 miles per hour right now. It's been quite a surprising event and it's not very often that we see these rapid tropical cyclone formations that come up surprising on us. This is our latest forecast right now. This is I should note that this is using the Australian scale, not the Stafford Simpson scale. Um, we are currently forecasting a peak of 110 kilometers per hour, that's 70 miles per hour, 10 minutes sustained winds, and that would translate to a category one on the Saffir Simpson scale. However, there, the, the storm is forecast to weaken rapidly as it pushes inland, and it'll probably be gone in, in around three days from now over northern Australia. This is what we're seeing for the rainfall threat right now. You can see not much rainfall is forecast, though we could still see several inches of rainfall along the Cape York Peninsula. You can also see the beginnings of a potential tropical cyclone pushing toward the west coast of Australia that we're going to have to watch later in the week going into the weekend. We'll have to keep our eyes on, on that. This is what the sea surface temperatures are looking like right now under the storm using the Bureau of Meteorology's estimates around 28-29 degrees Celsius. More than enough to favor a tropical cyclone. You'll notice that the Gulf of Carpentaria, however, is extremely warm, so if we get a significant system in there, we'll be seeing a powerful system in there. No systems are on the models that are indicated in that area, luckily. But for Kimi, it looks to be smooth sailing, at least for intensification, gradual intensification, given that the storm is quite small in size. This is what the models are saying. Not much we can really say for them, other than that the storm is going to be slow moving over the next 24 to 36 hours as it approaches the coast and models are only just beginning to lock onto the storm given that it has just become a tropical cyclone. So this is what we are seeing right now for the model guidance of this system. Uh, you're, you will see, you know, you'll notice that it, the system is forecast to once again be s quite slow moving over the next few days as it pushes towards the coast. Wind shear, according to the GFS, is going to rise. However, it looks like that it's going to follow the HCPR prediction and remain quite low. Sea surface temperatures are more than favorable, and relative humidity is pretty moderate to high. So the system could get stronger than what we're currently forecasting as of right now. This is what the storm looks like right now on the visible imagery right now. Look at it. It is very healthy for a 50 mile per hour tropical storm right now. It's got a nice outer, a nice feeder band towards the south of it, which is feeding the storm at the moment. 
Um, it's got nice convective bursts that are wrapping around the center right now, so the storm could be slightly stronger if we were advertising it right now. This is a look as the system was developing. You can see just how quickly it developed overnight in Australia. Only being an invest last night and then this morning, or this afternoon I should say, it is now a tropical storm. We'll have more information on Kimi as it makes landfall on our social media outlets. Perhaps potential live coverage as this storm gets strong enough.